Hello, welcome to this tutorial on the Beecher Regan CMS. Let's start out by adding a page. You can add a page to any node that's listed in this tree here by right clicking underneath the item you'd like to add the page underneath. Let's first add it underneath the start page, which is labeled Beecher Regan Advisors LLC. Right click and simply select the new by left clicking on it, and then selecting the left content page. The title that you type in is the text that appears on the main menu. Next, let's add an image. You can either add an image that's already been uploaded by selecting this button here, and selecting an image from the images directory or the upload directory, or clicking the browse button to upload an image from your computer. Next, press Save and Publish. And as you can see, a new page has been added underneath the, the main menu. Now, as you can see, there is a problem with the formatting. There's not enough content to push the footer all the way down to the, to the bottom of the page. Let's go back by right-clicking on the test page you just created and selecting edit. Next, you just simply add a few line breaks by holding the enter key in the content section to lengthen the page. Note, you can also edit the HTML directly by clicking on the edit HTML source and editing the HTML tags this way. Save and publish. As you can see, adding a few line breaks pushes the footer all the way down and fixes the formatting problem that we previously had. Let's say you'd like to ha hide this menu item. You can do this by right-clicking again and editing the page, clicking on the Advanced tab, and unchecking the Visible checkbox. This will remove the page from the main menu. Let's re-enable the visibility. Now let's say you would like to move this page underneath the Practice Areas section. You can do this by right-clicking on the page and selecting Cut, and then repasting it underneath the Practice Area by right-clicking on Practice Area and selecting Paste. This page is now listed underneath the Practice Areas section. Let's make a change to this page, page's content again by editing it. Now let's say you'd, you made a change to a page, but you'd like to go back to your previous version of the page. You can do this. Hold on, get another revision. You can do this by selecting the page you'd like to view the revisions for by left-clicking on it and selecting the previous revisions page or previous versions button. This will show all previous versions of the test page. Let's publish our last revision, which should just say revision 01, or even go back further and press the publish button again underneath the last revision. Oops. As you can see, it can be pretty fickle to figure out which revision you've used in the past. Let's go back to, to the first version. There we go. And this is useful if you made some changes to the page and you'd like to go to the original version or a previous version listed. You can tell which version you've done by looking at which version you're looking at by looking at the timestamps usually and the expired column. Next, let's take a look at changing the email contact or the mail recipient for the contact forms. You'd simply select 
or change the, um, the text box for the mail recipient section and press save and publish. It is the same for the client's page and the contact page. Now let's say you'd like to change the page ordering underneath practice areas. And you like to, we can do this by selecting the page you'd like to change the order of. In this case, we're going to click test page. And using the arrow buttons up top here to change the page order. To view these changes, you'd have to press the refresh button in your browser. As you can see, the test page has moved up in accordance with the changes we've made. Now let's say you'd like to edit the start page. You simply right-click and edit the Beecher Reagan Advisors node or item. And you'd simply edit the section you'd want to change. In this case, we're going to edit the home rec one section and press save and publish. As you can see, there's a limited amount of space in these sections. So you need to be careful when editing this page. Also, if you'd like to edit the footer content, you can do that from that same page. Right. Let's say you want to edit the right hand section of the footer, which is actually the copyright information. Press save and publish. And as you can see, the change has taken place and persisted throughout the entire site. Well, that should be it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. Oh yeah, I forgot to add one more thing. To add a header to the menu and not have it linked to anything, you'd add a new item underneath the Beach and Regular Advisor section and add a redirect item. If you like this header to redirect to an actual page, you press this button here, select the items, and select the page that you like this menu item to redirect to. However, in this case, we don't want it to redirect to anything, so you simply type in forward slash and pound, and then press save and publish. You can also change the order of the header by si simply using the arrow keys that we did as we did before to change the order in which this menu item appears. To add an item underneath the header, you do so as you would with any other page by right-clicking on the item and pressing New, and adding a plain content page. As you can see, the page now appears underneath the new header.